So here's the uh, Dell XPS 1. Uh, I have it laying on the uh, table uh, face down. Nothing's underneath it to bother the uh, to bother the screen. Okay, and there's two screws. There's one right there and one on the other side which is actually missing courtesy of whoever worked on it last. So you want to remove those two screws. Well here we are. The screws out, the one screw, and it's right there. You're going to take, come up here and use your fingers. Um, you're going to push down on the top where the speaker is and you're going to take your palm and push that way. So just grab it and pull it up forward and lift it up. It's only going to come up about a quarter of an inch. You're going to take this whole thing off. I'm removing the, the foot the foot stand, okay? So uh, one, one screw's there, one screw all Phillips head, another screw's here, another screw's here. On the other side, there's only three screws. So one here, one there, and one there. Make sure you keep them all together so you know where they go. We're going to remove the hard drive now. You're going to need your small screwdriver. There's three screws to remove it. They're very visible from the top, they're black. So there's one here, one here, and one here. Uh, just take these out. Okay, that's three screws. Lift it right out. And just connect your power and your SATA cables. And right here, there's a cable that's going over it, and you've got to be careful. I'm going to try and get the light up over here so you can see it. So you've got to be careful about that cable, so work around it. Push the button down and release these. There's no button on the uh, SATA cable, just on the power cable, and there's your hard drive. Move the light around so you can see over here. My hand's going to be in the way a bit. So uh, you're going to take your power cable and slide it on. It only goes on one way. Get, uh, give a tug on it, make sure it's on all the way too, because this has a clip. Alright, and Put the power cable on. Right, make sure they're on real good. Set it back down. And line it up. There is actually a lot... Uh, there is uh, something you have to get underneath. There's a little, a little tab. Let me show, see if I can show it to you. This little tab right here has to go underneath. And then they sit down. And then put your three screws back down. So, so uh, I don't have to show you that. Just put your three screws back down. Make sure you don't drop anything out. I'm in the process of putting the, the stand back on. And there's something that you really have to be careful about. And it's these cables right here as you put this part back in. Uh, so just when you put this thing down, make sure you're looking around. Uh, on the right side and the left side that all the holes line up. All the connectors up inside here line up, and uh, and definitely the hole down there, it might have to go back, and everything seats into place. Okay, uh, you may want to put a screw on the base here and on the other side, and a screw maybe up here to hold it down because all the weight is counteracted. It's not really counteracting; it's actually falling towards you. Well, we're getting ready to close this thing up. You want to make sure your memory chips are. Um, seated in and plugged in, everything, all the screws are down. Take one good look off, start from the right, work your way over to the right, to the left. Make sure all the screws are in, nothing loose. Okay, this is back on there nice and good. And then we're going to go in complete reverse of what we did before when we took this thing off. So we're going to put it up about a um, quarter inch or so. I think that's like a, yeah, it's about a quarter inch. It sits down, okay, looks pretty even, and we slide it toward us. So actually it went on pretty easy. Uh, when this is done, there's one screw here, one screw here that we took off before. You use a smaller Phillips head to do that. I'm going to put this right back in where it was when I took it out. I did inform the customer that uh, he has one screw missing. So this is what holds on the back, and I couldn't find another screw that matches it. And he had stated that his brother or somebody... Uh, a friend of his uh, um, took it apart trying to fix it. So, anyway, uh, this concludes this video. I uh, hope you like, uh, you know, it was helpful in some way. I need to test it now, see if the video actually works, of uh, the display on this actually works. Subscribe if you want and see a lot more. Bye.